Well, we're just driving along what once was one of the bumpiest roads in England, the approach road to RSPB Ooze Washes in Cambridgeshire, but uh, it looks as though they've done a little bit of work on it, resurfacing work, and it's certainly not as bad as it used to be. We're just uh, driving into the car park now. Here we are on the reserve, haven't been here since October 2013. It's supposed to be a little bit mild today, but it is very cold, uh, but the light is beautiful. If we would have been here a few hours ago and got the sunrise, it would have been absolutely stunning. The Use Washes is uh, an RSPB reserve, as I said, and it's situated uh, between Chatteris and Ely. And there you can see Ely Cathedral, uh, way off in the distance there. There's a few early birders about, uh, scopes at the ready, and we're going to get settled in some of the hides and uh, see what uh, photo and filming opportunities there are out there. Looking out way over the far side of the washes there, there is a bird of prey sitting in the tree. You do get marsh harriers here, but I think that's a buzzard. Also the usual stuff, coot and moorhen. And uh, there's four little grebes out there on view at the moment. Also cormorant. You always get these vast flooded areas in winter and it looks a bit sparse out there at the moment but there are some wild fowl on view. We've got gadwall, mallard, uh, pochard, that's a male there, and a uh, female. You don't see the females as often as the males. Also tufted duck and golden eye. Didn't manage to get any shots of those but by far the uh, biggest flocks as expected were widgeon also got this brief view of a sparrow hawk which kept putting the ducks up and also smaller flocks of birds uh, included goldfinches not a particularly good view of those and what I thought were linnets but they could have been twite also uh, got this shot of a green woodpecker which uh, was feeding in this spot for well over half an hour and also a common sight at the edge of uh, large expanses of water the uh, pied wagtail and I've filmed these uh, birds lots and lots of times before. You also get a white wagtail, which uh, looks a little bit similar, but uh, a much rarer sight. This is a pied wagtail. And it's just uh, coming down towards us in the hide. As I said, I've got lots of footage of these birds, but it uh, looks like I'm going to get the closest shot I've ever got of a pied wagtail. What a cracking little bird that is though. Bathed in the winter sunshine. Well the use wash is very good for Buick and Hooper swans and uh, they're usually way out on the water but uh, looks like we've got a group of five flying down towards us and I'm pretty sure these are Hooper swans. Um, they do look very similar but uh, Buicks are a little bit smaller and stockier, more goose-like. And uh, they have black and yellow beaks like Hoopers, but they have more black on the end of their beak. And it extends further up the beak. And uh, Hooper swans have much more yellow. Well, that's about it. Um, pretty quiet day here at the Ooze Washes, but uh, it's just... Good to be out and about in the winter sunshine. See you next time.